Hey Trickster and welcome to the Fitz Magic Show. John Fitzsimmons here and it's been said in magic that you are not a real magician unless you perform the cups and balls and the linking rings. And in my opinion, this would not be a real vlog, magic vlog, unless I perform the cups and balls and the linking rings. Now the thing is, I haven't performed these tricks in years, like 10 to 15 years. I used to do cups and balls all the time. And then for some reason, I just stopped doing them. Uh, well, last week I pulled out the cups and balls. I've been practicing, trying to remember my old routine. Actually, I've got it, it was pretty good. And then uh, I took it to my gigs this weekend and I did the trick. It's an amazing trick, people love it. And I'm going to present it for you right now. Welcome back, Trickster. We are about to do the classic mystery of the cups and balls. If you were here, I would have you examine the cups. It uses three brass cups. They are solid, no holes of any kind. They can't pass through each other because that'd be weird. Oh, well, maybe a little bit. They can. There they are, the cups. You can check them out. Then we also have a ball. I use a little baseball. There it is right there. It's a little teeny baseball made by a little teeny baseball maker. I mean, the guy's not little. He just makes little teeny baseballs. That's why he's a little teeny baseball. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Check it out. We take the ball and it goes right through the top of the cup. It's amazing. We can do it right here through the top of the cup. Did you want to examine the ball? I didn't want you to miss. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it's right here. Ha ha. <laughs> I should mention this is the tie, this is the shirt, and this is the hat that I used to wear at all of my gigs back when I used to do the cups and balls from like age 13 till at least 19, maybe even 20 or around there. Anyway, back to the trick, back to the trick. One ball and three cups. That does not seem like very fair odds for you or the ball. So with a little wave and a little tap of the wand, we get three cups and three balls. Now we are ready to start the trick. Check this out. In fact, if we take ball number one, put it under cup number one. Ball number two goes under cup number two. Ball number three, cup number three. Now, if we invisibly take ball number one, there it is, and toss it into the center cup. Ball number three, right there. There it is, just like that. Now, if we give a tap, they actually disappear and materialize underneath that center cup. It's amazing. Now this is my favorite part because all three balls disappear at the same time. Don't blink or you'll miss it. I just wave the wand. All three balls disappear at the same time. One, two, three. They're gone. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's amazing. It's amazing. Now with just a tap, the first one comes back. Here it is right there. Not for very long, just a squeeze and it disappears. Ball number two goes with the wave of a wand, just like that. Ball number three visibly vanishes. You can actually see it go with a blow. <laughs> it goes just like that. Now with just a tap, the balls jump right back to the cups. At this point, a lot of people say, that's not what I'm used to seeing with the cups and balls. I thought we play that game. The game where you put a couple of balls away and you keep one ball on the table and our job is to find that ball on the table. And that's fine. We can play that game just like this. You have to find that ball. Any ideas where the ball is? A lot of people think it's right over here. In fact, you would have been right had you said that. Oh, did you think it was over here? Because you would have been right as well. Now some people both of you in the front, I see, think it's in the middle. And you're both right. Oh, you thought it was there too? I didn't want to leave you out. There you go, all three in the middle, just like that. Now, let's try one more time. I'll take all three balls. I put them in my pocket, and I give a snap. And that's when they reappear. That is the cups and balls. Thanks for watching the Fitz Magic Show. I hope you enjoyed this classic. This was taught to me by my magic teacher when I was about 12 or 13 years old, Sean Eric. Sean, thank you for sharing this with me. I am starting to do it a lot more often again. Uh, it's such an amazing trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, crush that thumbs up button 
hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, we'll be doing the linking rings later this week. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Boom! I beat you. Hey, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like videos just like this, please do us both a favor and click the subscribe button. Below that, you'll find the latest Fitzmagic show, and below that, you'll find a video recommended just for you. Thank you for watching, and click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button.